Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. I'm glad you could attend, Movie Maniacs. Come inside today as we take a look at the action film from last year starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, and it's called The Last Stand. Old Arnie is playing Sheriff Ray Owens, a uh, sheriff of this really small town in Arizona near the Mexican border, and he's planning on having a quiet day, a day off. Uh, most of the town is leaving due to a basketball championship, and things are, ten are supposed to be, at least it's planned, to be slow. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, plans uh, definitely get tossed out the window when uh, old Ray Owens learns that a drug cartel kingpin is headed his way. Yes, that's right. The kingpin uh, is he's looking to escape the U.S. He just escaped the FBI, killed a number of agents, and he's on his way to Mexico through Ray Owens' little town. And so Ray is the only thing standing between the drug cartel kingpin and his freedom in Mexico. Folks, The Last Stand's a lot of fun, and I am sorry it took me so long to see this film. I was a little leery when I saw the trailer because uh, one of our Arnold's first uh, starring action films he was in since uh, he's been back into acting, and I'm just like, oh, I don't know. Uh, but once I watched it, I was just pleasantly surprised at how entertaining this movie is. Now, by any means, it's not phenomenal cinema, folks, but it is just good old plain action fun. If you grew up in the late 80s, early 90s, you know those late 80s, early 90s action films had cheesy one-liners, outrageous action scenes, and just were entertaining. And that's what The Last Stand is. Definitely had that feel of those uh, action films of the late 80s, early 90s. And I loved that bit. I mean, it's directed just like it as well. Kim Ji-Woon, who directed this, who also did The Good, The Bad, and The Weird, handles the action scenes really well. You can see what's going on. And they're very exhilarating and very well put together. They're edited well. In fact, this whole film is really well paced. There's really not a lot of slow spots in this. It really moves along, but then when you've got a drug cartel kingpin guy driving one of the fastest cars in the world, well, you expect things to be a little bit kinetic. Arnold Schwarzenegger is fun in this film, recognizing his age, but still proving that he can do some action. You also got Forrest Whitaker in here playing the FBI agent who's trying to track down the uh, bad guy in his really, really fast car, and I I'll watch Forrest Whitaker in everything. He's one of my all-time favorite actors. I love every Every role he's in and even though he doesn't get a huge amount of screen time I did enjoy seeing him once again on screen you also got Louis Guzman in here who he's great with his comedic timing um, usually in a supporting role in most of the films he's in just like he is here but I liked his character quite a bit and he gets to be a badass at one point as well a great dramatic scene with smoke and holding this big ass gun and it was a great scene and it, it just it would brought a smile to my face Jamie Alexander's in here. Yes, from Thor, Sif herself. She's in here playing one of the sheriff's deputies. It was fun to see her in action, playing a strong female role with just a bit of a soft side and uh, wicked with a sniper gun. And Johnny Knoxville in here is even tolerable. Not a huge Jackass fan, but in here I really liked his character and it was fitting because he was playing the uh, basically the guy in town who has all the guns. All the big guns. And so, you know, I enjoyed his character and he brought some comic relief as well. This is isn't meant to be a real heavy serious action film. It's a, a, a just a fun popcorn type action film that delivers exactly what you expect when you see the trailers. A lot of action, some one-liners, and just good old plain late 80s, early 90s fun, which is what The Last Stand is. Even down to the final battle, the outrageous fight and gun battle they have going on. Oh man. And folks, this is gory, it's bloody, it is mature. Thank you so much. That also added to my enjoyment of the element that it's an action scene that actually had blood going on, which you don't get nowadays too often. So, uh, it, now I'm not a violent guy, but in my uh, gun shootouts where there's a lot of bullets flying and people dying, you expect to see some blood. And so it was fun to see that this didn't exactly get the PG-13 rating. So, uh, you know, just see Last Stand if you're a fan of the uh, late 80s, early 90s action films. It's worth a watch. It's on instant view, so it's free. If you've got uh, Netflix, it's not going to cost you a thing. Uh, you know, so check it out. It's worth your time at least watching once. I gave it three and a half stubs. Had a lot of fun. Brought me back to uh, those early action films that I grew up with and definitely was not disappointing. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, folks. 
keep that ticket stub. <laughs>